Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys the results of my survey. My proposed study is how and to what extent do tenured employees with 10 or more years experience at Advantage Computers become disengaged with upper mobility? And my supporting questions are, at what point do these employees become complacent and to what extent can career development help with this complacency? So the strategy of designing my questions, I used the multiple choice approach. I had closed-ended questions, mostly yes or no. Um, and I ended up having 16 respondents. So I administered this 10 question survey to students and to some of the employees at Advantage Computers that are actually tenured and who are willing to take the survey. Uh, a few of the questions were designed to determine the demographics of the res respondents and other questions asked about job satisfaction, compensation, willingness to take on new roles or relationship with, this, with their supervisor. So the results of my survey were mostly females. I had 11 females and 5 males, and most of them were between the ages of 21 and 39. I think that determining the age of the employees or the, the respondents is important when trying to answer the research question. It can be expected that an individual that is 58 years old may decide they are ready to sit back and take it easy because retirement is just around the corner for them. And as opposed to individuals that are 35, if the person becomes complacent at a young age like, like 35, we need answers for this behavior. And as you can see, many of the employees are not in the what I call the pre-retirement stage. So it, this is proving that we have a lot of issues with these younger employees um, who aren't close to retirement that are becoming complacent. So 76.46% of the respondents had at least a bachelor's degree. And then when I, when I asked about job satisfaction, 23.5% were satisfied with their job, while 52.9, so almost 53%, were somewhat satisfied. And 0% reported being very, 0% being ve reported being very unhappy, which is pretty good. Um, on the other hand, if these employees repeated, reported being mostly happy with their jobs, that could mean that they have reached their prof professional goal, and at this time their life, in their life they're not interested in upward mobility. So in other words, if they're happy now, why would they want to change their jobs or their duties? So if they're satisfied with where they're at professionally, why? what would be the driving force for them to change their, their duties? And then I asked about, I asked the question of willingness to take on new roles, and most of them, most of the respondents were neutral. No one reported it as disagreeing with this question, yet individuals still aren't stepping up, so perhaps they are getting offered positions they don't have in mind, or they, they, maybe they think more of themselves and we're offering them positions that they think are lesser. Then I asked about the relationship with, super, with their supervisor, and most of them answered mostly positive. Um, a few reported as disagree and neutral, which again could cause the complacency. Employees who don't trust or feel distant from their supervisor will lack the courage and drive to strive for better things professionally, like upward mobility. So chances are, if they can never overcome the lack of positive relationship with their supervisor, they will most likely find another job and move on, or become even more unproductive than what they already are. Okay, then I asked about level of involvement, um, if you were involved with work or not. And those results were completely scattered across the board. I had some that were... Um, neutral and, and uh, very involved or not involved at all. So that could be a cause for the complacency. And then compensation was about the same way. Uh, most of them answered they were somewhat satisfied, um, but there were a few that said they weren't getting paid enough, which you're always going to have. And so compensation may be a part of um, the motivation levels. So some conclusions I came to is that employees seem to be fairly satisfied with their current positions or current compensations. Um, 
they were they considered their compensation level satisfactory and so I'm th I am assuming that compensation is not affecting their motivation levels and then the age of the respondents um, that took the survey were not in the pre-retirement stage so I'm saying that the pre-retirement stage is 55 to 65 and the pre-retirement may answer questions as to why employees are disengaged and then the neutrality of new roles was um, kind of interesting to me. Many respondents were indifferent, but accepting new positions, they are not motivated to strive for these positions is the problem. And it seems as though they'd like for the, these new positions to just fall in their lap as long as it was something they wanted to do. So it seems like there's some stipulations and it's, it's going to be hard to meet those stipulations because we want our employees to strive for these positions and strive for better things, but we don't just want to hand it to somebody just because they think they deserve it. So that goes the same way with compensation. Compensation. We don't want to just hand them more money if they aren't doing things to better themselves or or better the company. We can't just hand out raises just because. So some recommendations I have is to talk with employees as a whole to determine what roles they have in mind. Um, what do they want to do? Where do they see themselves going? And that's going to give us a better idea as to what roles we could offer them. And then I could create a survey asking the roles what roles they would be willing to take on. And then um, the requirements that we would have to meet for these new roles, like would I have to provide more compensation, more benefits, what would they need to, what would I need to do to convince them to accept these new roles? So future studies, um, I would be interested in seeing if other IT companies are having the same problem. So is it industry wide, or, or is it just, is it just this company with complacency issues? And then another thing is, is it other industries? Is it just, is it not just IT companies, or is it, you know, restaurants or, or doctors' offices or hospitals or what, what have you? Is, is it other industries, or is it just, is it just the IT field? So. That is the conclusion of my survey.